Hey everyone, Coach Investor back to another video for today. So if you're an OG from this channel, you know that I talked about Twilio more than two years ago. Actually, it's been two years since I ever said the word Twilio, which is, which is strange. So in May 2020, I covered the stock. Back then, the stock soared 40% to $176. Right now, we're, well, much less than that. It's actually down 72% year to date and down 80% from a year ago. But the business has grown. Now, Twilio was one of the stocks I bought at the start of 2020 and sold just after that jump of 40%. Never re-entered it again, having a look at it today, because who knows, who knows, maybe it might be interesting. Maybe I'll add it to the channel's portfolio on stocker.io, which you can follow for free, link down in the description below. But for those that are unfamiliar with Twilio today, these are some of the products and services that they're offering. So Twilio Flex, Twilio Conversations, SendGrid Email API, Programmable Voice, Programmable Wireless, Phone Numbers, Programmable Videos, SMS, Elastic SIP Trunking. Now, with regards to Twilio Flex, the Cloud Contact Center platform, they did say that an existing Fortune 100 retailer signed an eight-figure deal to provide a unified communication suite for shoppers and company reps. Now, this is a huge deal for them, which we're going to have a look at how that impacted their earnings report. Now, going back to the products here. Basically, it's a communication company, a sort of communication company, obviously, to facilitate the ways of companies that interact with their customers, etc., I believe in the video, the, the first video I made on this channel about Twilio, I used the example of Netflix. So when Netflix sends you maybe notifications, text messages or whatever, are you watching? There's a new show, this, this and that. Well, using Twilio's technology. I believe Lyft and Uber are using it as well. Same thing there. Your driver has arrived, all those types of things. Now, with regards to Twilio, while the stock might be down a lot, like we said, 72% year to date, 80% from a year ago, the company itself has been doing quite well. Even this quarter doing very well, as you will see in just a bit. Guidance, they gave us guidance, still expect that 30% growth. So that's great. But you're going to ask me, why is the stock down? Why isn't it moving on the way up? What's the deal here? Well, the deal is that in the current macroeconomic environment, nothing makes sense. Back in 2020, nothing made sense either, but we were going on the way up, so not a lot of people were asking too many questions. Today, on the way down, there are lots of questions, not that many answers, but I'll give you the answer already right now. The main reason why the stock is not going up is because they're not profitable yet. They expect to be profitable in 2023. Will that happen? Remains to be seen on the next episode of Dragon... No, it remains to be seen next year. And now before we go and have a look at their earnings report, if you want to support this channel, do check out the link down in the description and in the pinned comment to get the top 10 best stocks to buy now. Or go to full.com for a slash couch investor and make sure to check out all the other links in the pinned comment, some of which might actually save you some money. So go have a look. All right, so revenue came in at $943 million. That's up 41% year over year. Organic revenue grew over 30% year over year, which is great. Revenue dollar based net expansion of 123%. This means that, well, and by the way, this metric here does not take churn into consideration. So bear that in mind more than 275,000 active customers accounts as of the end of that quarter, and they initiate Q3 guidance. Now they expect total revenue to grow at around 31% at the midpoint, organic revenue growth to grow at 29.5% at the midpoint, so still growing quite well even after those difficult comes from COVID. And now, as I said before, non-GAAP loss from operations to come between 70 to $60 million. Now, the good news is that Twilio has over $4 billion in cash, short-term investments offset by debt of just $987 million. So if they do become profitable in 2023, they're in quite good position today. And now the revenue trend is exactly what you want to see, right? Q2 2020 pandemic 
started, right? Q2 2021, you have the positive effect of the pandemic. Q2 2022, well, usually what happens there is a huge decline, slowdown, etc. But no, it keeps going up. And obviously, those year-over-year -year revenue growth, those percentages obviously goes down. Well, not obviously, but it makes a little bit sense, right? They grew 41% over 67% over 46 percent so quite nice they more than doubled their revenue from the same quarter in 2020 and organic revenue growth which is without acquisitions and 10 dlc a2p so that segment i'm not going to go into that because otherwise the video will be way too long that segment also grew from q2 2020 to this quarter it more than doubled and as for dollar-based net expansion, yes, obviously that has declined a little bit quarter over quarter, but again, still you get that extra 23% on top of those existing customers. Now as for the concentration of their customers, so the top 10 customer accounts for now 12% of total revenue. Now, this number might seem small, might seem big to some of you. Well, in general, to me, that's, that's great because if let's say it was in the 20, maybe even 30%, let's take an extreme example, and suddenly that customer leaves, as I believe we've seen with Fastly, TikTok, then obviously the company, the financials take a huge, huge hit. Now it sits here at 12%, I believe that's quite okay. Now internationally, they have been growing year over year and well, quarter over quarter now it's flat, but at least internationally they are growing. Nice for gross profit, that has grown as well. Now obviously there was a little decline here as you can see from Q3 to Q4 2021. Year over year growth there, bit of a decline. But then again, if you look at the growth rates of the same quarters in 2021, you might understand why. And one last thing is gross margin bridge. So that sits at 54.3%. This is excluding the same thing we mentioned before, 10 DLC A2P fees. And now one last thing for those of you that love those financial and valuation metrics. So when it comes to, well, how cheap-ish, let's say, the company is right now. So EV2 sales, it rates at 4.3x in the last 12 months. In the next 12 months, that's at 3.4x, much, much lower than when it was at its peak. EV2 EBITDA, 51.9 times, so that's still extremely high. EV2 gross profit, nine times high but much lower than what we were before price to gross profit just under 11 times again much lower than the peaks one year ago price to sales ratio 5.2x in the last 12 months in the next 12 months that's just over 4x and so i believe right now even if in this let's say uncertain times the company has proven itself quite strong and i believe it does deserve a spot in this channel's portfolio which you can follow on stockcar.io, link down in the description below. Also, you can enter the competition that we're having on there. If you beat me and all the other contestants, by the end of the year, you get $250 in cash. It's free to enter. You just have to create a portfolio and that's about it. So why not? Again, share your thoughts down in the comments below. Do you hold Twilio? What do you think about the company? Leave it all in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this type of videos, leave it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to this channel, maybe hit that subscribe button and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.